Okay, let's go through the Yealink T29 phone um, with the 3CX. First thing we'll do is you hear your line buttons. You have two available line buttons, so you can handle two calls. The next one is a park button. That's like a system-wide hold. There's two positions, SP0 and SP1. Then you have your uh, direct dial to the other extensions. Okay, so you can just hit those and um, the call will ring through to their extension. On inbound calls, if your phone is not ringing but you can hear it or you can see that someone else's phone is lit up blinking, meaning it's ring ringing, you can simply hit their button and answer that call. So let's test that. I'll show you that. So I'm making an inbound call. And you, can see, you can't hear it, but you can see that they're lit up. So all I have to do is hit that button, and it grabs that call. I'm going to hang that up because I'm going to get feedback. And you can grab that call. So that's one way to answer the call. Otherwise, the other way is have your phone ring on incoming. Okay? Um, to make a call real easy, if you know the person's extension, you can just simply dial it and hit send. Okay. Um, if it's a local number or a long distance number, just dial either the 7 or 11 digits and again hit send. Oops, my fingers aren't working. Okay, hit send and then the call will go through. Okay, real easy. Let's go through some of these other buttons. Um, you have a history button, that's a call history. You can uh, delete, there's other options, you can send. Uh, you have a phone book. Uh, you can enter it, you can see all the different extensions that are within your company. Do not disturb, and you have a menu button. Here's your voicemail button, it's message. Here is a conference button, I have a video on that, on how to make conference calls. Uh, mute, where you can mute yourself, redial speakerphone to transfer a call. Here's your hold button. This is exclusively um, to hold a call on your phone. And then you have a headset button. If you have a headset, you can uh, actually toggle on and off. Um, the difference between the park button and the hold button, this park button will hold it on everybody's phone. So if someone called in, you answered it. A um, couple ways to handle the call. One, you can... Uh, just transfer it over if you're call if you're on the call you can just hit that person's extension um, and hang up and it will transfer that call another uh, way to handle the call is you can park them okay let's do that you can park them and then you can notify uh, the other person within your company so let's answer the call so I answered it let's mute that so we don't get feed feedback Oh, mute this one. There we go. So I got it muted. So what I can do is I can hit park, and that just put the other person on hold, and you can hear it. Okay. So now they're on hold. Now if you needed to get a hold of someone else in the organization or you needed to do something, um, you can let that person know that John Smith is parked on uh, zero, okay, or one. Um, and let's just, for example, say I'm the call was for me. Someone else parked it. I'm going to pick it up. All you have to do is just hit that button, and now you're on the call. So, and you can see that that button is now free for another parked call. Okay, so real easy there. Let's hang up these calls. Um, message. All you have to do is just hit your voicemail button. You have. No okay. Um, I'll send uh, information on that as well. Um, I think that's it for the most part. That should get you going. If you have any other questions, please let us know. Um, we're here to help. Thanks.